Good afternoon, my dear students. How have you been? Today we're going to talk about the nouns. We have two kinds of nouns. We have coming nouns and preferred nouns, and we're going to talk about the collective noun. What's the meaning of collective noun? Let's start with the coming and preferred nouns. The nouns are names for people, place, or thing. The common and preferred nouns. The common noun is the nouns in general. It's a general noun. Like when we say a book, a door, a house, a hospital, a country, without, without seeing its name. Look at here. Let's take some example and we're gonna understand. If we say hospital without seeing which hospital, this is a common noun. But the proper noun is uh, when we say, for example, Rabia Hospital, it has a name. This is a proper noun. If we say girl without seeing her name, this is a common noun because we say we said the name in general, girl, without seeing who's this girl. But if we say the specific name, that will be a proper noun like Haya, it's a proper noun. If we say story without seeing its name, it's a common noun. But if we say prairie dog, prairie, a prairie guard dog, this is our story this week. If we say a prairie guard dog, this is a proper noun. A prairie guard dog. And look at here, I want you to notice that we're going to start or, or we're going to capitalize all the proper nouns. Here, common nouns. The common nouns, that means the nouns in general. It's a general noun. It's not a specific noun, okay? But the proper noun here, proper noun, it's a specific noun. It has a specific name, okay? So let's complete. The noun is a word that names a person, a place, thing, or idea. The common noun names any person, any person, like when we say teacher, when we say um, maybe country, when we say city, when we say road without seeing its name, when we say ocean or month, if we didn't say the exact name or the specific name or the special name, so this is a coming noun. But if we say the name, that will be a proper noun. So the common noun names any person, place, thing, or idea. The common nouns are not capitalized unless they come at the beginning of the sentence, of course, like teacher without seeing her name, baseball player, city. All of these are common nouns. What, what are the proper nouns of them? Uh, let me erase here. Look at here. Common nouns like car, house, dog, door, boat, love, mother, all of these are common nouns because we didn't say whose cars. We didn't say the name of the dog, the name of the mother. We didn't say the name of the boat, for example. But the proper noun, the proper noun names a particular or a specific person, a place or thing like, we didn't say teacher here, Mrs. Boyd, she has a name. Atlanta Braves. This is the name of, I'm not sure if this is the name of the player or the team, but it's a specific name. New York, here we said which city. It's a specific city. It's a particular city. It's a particular name. So the proper nouns are always capitalized, like our names. Proper nouns like Miss. Uh, Waddle, like George Washington, like Carl's Park, like Community Hospital, like Orange Street. Now let's talk about singular and plural. There are some irregular plurals. They will keep their spelling and pronunciation. They will not change. Like sheep will stay sheep. Salmon will stay salmon. Deer will stay deer. You will not change anything. Like fish will stay fish. Okay, you know that we will uh, add is or e is to make the singular noun plural. And we have a regular plural noun. They change their spelling like foot feet, tooth teeth, like uh, goose geese. But some they will keep their spelling. They will keep 
their pronunciation like deer, like uh, moose and salmon. All of these, they will keep their spelling and pronunciation. Now let's talk about the collective nouns. The collective nouns name a group of things. They are one word or it's the collective noun. It's only one word, but it refers to more than one thing or more than one person or more than one animal. So the collective noun, it's one word, but it means a group of people, animals or things. Like an army of soldiers, here the word army, it refers to more than one. A team of ducks, the word team refers to a group of ducks. A bunch of keys, also it refers to more than one key. Like a choir of singers, a flock of tourists, a troop of dancers, a class of students, an army of soldiers. So look at here. A choir of singers. The word here, choir, it refers to more than one person, a group of singers. A flock of tourists. The word flock refers to a group of people. A troop of dancers. The word troop is a collective noun. A class of students. The word class, army of soldiers. So when we say the word here, queer or flock or troop or class or army, we will know that there are more than one person. They're not talking about only one person. The same for the words army, flock, pride, school, and publics. We have a group of ants. We can say army of ants. Here. Okay, army of ants, flock of sheep, pride of lions, the school of fish, a puddling of ducks. All of these are one word or they are, I mean, each word, it's only one word, but it refer to, refers to more than one thing or more than one animal. Now get your grammar book and open page number 36. Let's talk about common nouns and proper nouns. Let's underline them here. What is the common noun? It names any person, please, or thing. But I need you to concentrate on the word any, any, not special. Oh, I need the circle, not the line here. Any person, place, or thing. The proper noun names a special, a specific, a particular person, place, or thing. Okay. The proper noun begins with a capital letter, like here, polar bears live near to the Arctic Ocean, Arctic Circle. Here it's a name for a region. Here it's a specific place. It has a specific name. It's Arctic Circle. It's a proper noun. Bats sleep in caves all over the United States. Here it's a name for the country, United States. So this is a proper noun, and we should capitalize it. Circle the proper nouns. Many frogs live on the bank of the Mississippi River. Mississippi River here, it's a special name. So it's a common noun and we should capitalize it. They capitalized it already. Here, beavers can be found in wetland across, the, across North America. North America, it's a specific person that doesn't stay in a place or in a region, no, it has a specific name, that means it's a proper noun. Prairie dogs live in the grassland of Montana. Montana is the name for a place. Many different fishes swim in the Atlantic Ocean. They didn't say ocean, ocean coming now. Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean, all of these are proper nouns because they have names. Some alligators live in the Florida River here. Everglades, here, Florida, Everglades, it's a proper noun. Underline the common nouns. Now let's underline the common nouns. Mini frogs, frog common nouns live in the banks of Mississippi. Beavers, common noun, can be found in wetland. Prairie dogs don't have a name, so there are common nouns. Grassland, common noun, many different fish coming down, some alligators, alligators coming down. So let's underline them and write them. 
strokes. Beavers. Woodlands. Woodlands. Prairie. Strokes. Grasslands. Fish. Alligators. And here we didn't try. That would mean alligator. Alligators. We didn't try the word banks. Banks also, it's a common noun. Now turn your page. Page, page number 37. What is the collective noun? The collective noun names a group of people, places, or things like look, herd, game, band, class. So the flock of geese flew overhead. Circle the collective noun. The flock of geese, so the word flock is collective noun. A herd of cows is grazing in the field. Herd of cows, that's mean a group of cows. Flock of geese, that's mean a group of geese. Do overhead. Okay, Jack saw a school of fish in the river. School of fish means a group of fish. So school is a collective noun. Mini fix, a basket for the litter of puppies. Litter of puppies, that's mean a group of puppies. A pack, wolves run through the forest. A pack of wolves, so pack is collective noun. A swarm of bees buzz near the fruit trees. Here's a group of bees, a swarm of bees. All of these are common nouns. We know that because they refer to more than one thing or animal or person. Now, open page number 38. Some proper nouns name days of the week. So I want you to look at here. If we say day, coming now. If we say the name of the day, like Sunday, it's that uh, abbreviations, okay? Sunday or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all of these are proper nouns. But if we say day without mentioning the day, this is common noun. So the first one, day, common noun. Common noun. But all the rest, they have names, so are proper nouns. If we say month, it's common noun. But if we say January, February, March, April, May, June, July, all of these are proper nouns because they have names. Uh, here, let's, they talked about abbreviations. We forgot to do that. Um, the abbreviations are short ways to write the names of the days and the months, which was before, so I didn't explain it. Uh, we're going to take the first three letters for, for example, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday. We're going to take the first three letters and put a period, but for Tuesday and first day, we're going to take the first three letters and add S. I was looking at the word Saturday. Uh, we shouldn't put uh, E here. We should put your Saturday, but you know, you, uh, you are still her. So it will be her Saturday. So how will we make the abbreviation? We'll take the first three letters and put period. So Saturday will be, Sunday will be, 
sun and period. Man and period. T U uh, here to U E S for the third Wednesday until the Thursday until the S and period Friday three letters Saturday three letters or Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday e, no I'm talking I want to talk about the months and you shouldn't say months there are months like January the first three letters February the first three letters so most of them are going to take the, the first three letters so let's look at here choose the proper noun that means a day month or holiday right it's for uh, right it correctly on the nine ribbon look at here they are proper nouns so they should start with capital letter September full or school September here it's a name for a month should start with capital letter vote flag or president's day president's day is a holiday it should start with capital letters present and day afternoon night or thursday thursday should start with capital letter summer labor day or fun labor day so let's write them with capital letter September. day Thursday Labor Day. That's the correct abbreviation for each different noun. February, we're going to take the first three letters. Saturday, the first three letters. Tuesday, four liters, April, three liters, then put the, so the abbreviation is a short way to write the words. So skip, that's me, February. That, that's me, Saturday. Means Tuesday, April, just the first three letters and put period. Page number 39 and 40 are homework. Here's the common noun, name the person, any person, place, or thing. The proper noun means a particular person, place, or thing. And begins with a capital letter. What happens? So let me, let me, okay. That's good. So let's complete. Here, the collective noun names a group of people, places, or things. The names of the days of the week, the months of the year, and the holidays, all of them are proper nouns. We will use a comma between the day and the year we took it here before, like 24, 2000, like when you want to write here. I was born. I was born in. Or here, I'm going to talk about the day. If you want to talk about the day, you should use on. But if you want to talk about the month and the year, you should use in. So I want to write about the day here. I was born on October. The day, for example, 13, 19, 91. But here we talked about the month before, so let's keep it. I was born in. If you want to talk about the month, you should use in. If you want to talk about the day, you're going to use on. Okay. So the most important thing here we added between the day and the year. Draw a line below uh, here, below each mistake, then rewrite the letter. Here there is no comma. Here when you put a comma, my class learned about sea turtles on Monday, but Monday it's a proper noun. It should start with a capital letter. 
I would like to see pictures of sea turtles from Florida. Florida here is a state. So we should capitalize the first letter. Please send them to me in. I can't see this word. Let me open my book to read it. I need a second to open the book. I opened my book. Oh, so this word is Idaho. This mean, that means, or it is a state of the United States. So we should capitalize it because it's a name for a state. We should capitalize the letter I. And what about here? Your friend, we, they put a comma, but Tony, it's a name. The proper noun, it should start with a capital letter. So solve it by yourself. That's me write by yourself because it's homework. Here read the underlying word, circle the word that shows what kind of noun it is. The penguins come from Antarctica. Here, Antarctica is a name for a continent. So it's a proper noun. Let me use the circle. I don't like that. Here, proper noun. Uh, some birds were building nests. Nest. It doesn't have a special name or a specific name, but it's a common noun. We saw a herd of elephants. The word herd here referred to more than one elephant, so it's a collective noun. The pelicans came from Florida pelicans. Here it's a proper noun, uh, sorry, common noun, because they are pelicans in general a general noun or a common noun because it's any pelican. It is not a specific or a special pelican. The flock of sheep fed on a grass. Flock of sheep, that means more than one sheep. That means this is a collective noun. Her birthday is in February. February It's the name for a month. It's a specific month, so it's a preferred noun. Thank you for listening to grade two. See you later. Goodbye.